Lawrence, is there a possible future for intelligence, especially in a universe that we now know is not only expanding, but under accelerating expansion? Well, if that acceleration continues, as I like to say, we live in the worst of all possible universes to live in for the future of life. So, so much for intelligent design. But, <laughs> but uh, you can show that in among all, all universes that, that are continuing to ex expand forever, a universe which is accelerating, life will end in such a universe before it will end in any other universe. And that's even if you can avoid all of the tragedies that are going to befall this planet, for example. The, the sun is going to get brighter, and in two billion years, the Earth will then be in a zone where Venus is now, and the surface of the Earth will be about a thousand degrees. In five billion years, the sun will expand and eat up the Earth, and lots of things, proton decay, all sorts of things are going to befall us. But let's say we're smart enough to get around all that stuff. It turns out that there are fundamental constraints on life and therefore intelligence in, a, in the very long term. We do know, for example, that for a long time life can exist as we know it with intelligence that's powered by solar power, which is what our plan is, for at least uh, oh, a trillion to ten trillion years because there will be stars more or less like our sun that will be around for that long. There'll be life and there, may, and there could be intelligence, but it won't be very happy. Okay, because especially if it's intelligent, because if the universe is accelerating, then the rest of the universe is slowly disappearing before our very eyes. Distant stars are moving away from us faster than the speed of light. And if we wait long enough, everything outside of our local cluster of galaxies will have disappeared. But you go far enough into the future and you're, you wind up with nothing. That's you what wind up with, like. with, with a random photon every galaxy space oh, I know, but or more. But if you're willing to be a science fiction aficionado or, 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 or very inventive physicist, you might say, what do you mean? Big deal. Your sense of time could change, right? So right now, you know, a few minutes may seem like a lot, but in such a universe, you could have a living system where if it had a thought every 10 trillion years, that would seem normal. We have a pace of life that's based on really the energy available to us now. You could imagine living conscious systems which have a very different pace and therefore can extend out at least a lot farther than you'd imagine otherwise. All modes right now seem like they will suggest that life will end. But, you see, I don't, want, I don't want people to get too depressed because the nice thing about life is also the following. It's a fluctuation. It violates, it sort of, it locally stores energy in a universe that's getting more and more random. Life likes to build up complexity. And so even if our life dies out, one could imagine at some time arbitrarily far in the future, a fluctuation occurs which, which allows intelligent life to exist again for a little while in a cosmic future and then again and again. So you might have islands in time of intelligence. So even in a hopeless, pointless, miserable universe, there's something to look forward to.